Link Academy. Um, supposedly you are new to this channel, I will appreciate you to click on the subscription button. Hence, also share to your friends and classmates. Today, I'm looking into case study three on link mechanism. And I have explained the mechanism in my previous videos, so you can just go back to my previous videos and understand the meaning of link mechanism and the application of link mechanism into engineering construction works. So next up today, I'm going to be looking at um, a case three, as you can see in the right corner of the screen, and the question goes below: Draw the locus of point P on the crank connecting rod piston mechanism so we're given um the following parameters crank is equal to 35 millimeter that is that circle we are seeing is called the crank connecting rod is equal to 120 millimeter that is the rod that connects c and r that long uh, that long line that is in between c and, r, c and r is called the connecting rod so cp that is distance from your c to p is what 60 millimeter and um the angle in which your OC force is what 45 degrees and this makes sense so the first thing I will do is what draw my horizontal and vertical line to make to have a reasonable center point so take my T square this way I will draw um, my horizontal line this way as you can see I will take my T square this way I will draw my vertical line upward so this is my what center point so this center point, I will use it to what to start um, my establishment of my crank. That crank, it, uh, my advice to everybody is that if you want to start drawing a link mechanism, you start with what drawing of your what of your crank. It helps a lot. So my crank is going to be what 35 millimeter. Am I right? So as you can see, the corner of the, of the screen, the crank that circle is going to be 35. So from this point to this point is my 35 and this makes sense i will take it to my center point i will draw the circle this way don't forget this is my point what my point o my point o c let us see for somewhere on this if for somewhere here yeah. and let us see as an angle of what oc as an angle of what 45 degrees so that is telling us that we are going to divide this circle to what into eight equal parts. How do I go about that? I will go about dividing this circle into eight equal parts by what bisecting this angle 90 from here to here is angle 90, here to here is 90, here to here is 90, here to here is 90. I can go to bisect anyone, but I want to bisect this place with any radius of a choice. Just come to this point here, strike and arc this way. Sorry, strike and arc this way. So similarly, at the same radius, come to this point here, so I can add this way. So where those arc meet, you connect it to what center point. You connect that line to the what center point. So this point here to the what center point this way. It's a faint line. So this tells us that the angle between here to this point here is what is 45 degrees, and it make it make a sense. The next thing I'm going to do now is what transfer that same measurement to the other parts. What all I mean? I mean this take the rest of this this point here to this point. As you can see, we transfer it down here. Similarly, come to this point here, transfer it here, and similarly transfer it down here. And this makes a good sense. So next up, you take your meter rule, connect this to this very well. Connect this this way, as you can see. Connect this um, this way. Connect this point here to that point this way. So I uh, successfully so divide this circle into a equal part. Should we confirm? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this makes sense. In the question, this is my point T. Am I right? It is thickened. I'll thicken this point here. So the next thing I want to do now is to what? Is to elongate this center point, this center line. 
So doing that, I'll be having this. If I elongate it, I'll be having this. Don't forget that the side, the connecting rod is a one long rod like this. That is what connecting CR. So it has a what a measurement of what 120. So measure 120 from this point here to this point is my 120. So at this point T, I will strike an arc. Where the hair cut this point here is my point what point R. So I'll connect that point to my point T with a thick line to indicate what the connecting rod. So this is a thick line this way, and this is my what connecting rod. We are not yet true. C R is 120, but in between there's a point there's a point named point P. And as the data of what our CP is what 60. So I measure 60. This is my point 60. This is my P P. You can see that. So now let's now start establishing the locus. So I can draw the locus of point P. So locus of point P. How do I go about that? This is my 120. And this is from this point to this point in 120. I said earlier. So you leave it at your 120 this way. So this is A, you call this A, you call this A1, you call this A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7. And this makes a sense. So similarly, you come to your A1, strike an arc, where the arc, cut that horizontal line I've drawn, you call it R1, because you're dealing with A1. So R1. So you connect R1 and A1 together, as you can see, it's already connected together. So you measure what the same 70, eh, sorry, 60. So this is my point 60. Let me write R1. Eh, sorry, P1 and that P1. So similarly, with the same radius of what 120 again at your A2, strike and arc somewhere here. The arc is touching this point. I call this my R2. Connect R2 to A2. Connect R2 to A2 to locate your point P2. So I will now what measure my 60 to locate my point P2. My point P2 here. P2. Similarly, simultaneously, you come to A3. Strike an arc somewhere. A3 is touching at this point. I call this my R3. As you can see. So R3, R3 to this point here. Um, to take line, similarly, you measure what 60 as we did earlier from this point here to somewhere here. It's 60 and it's making sense out 3 P3 rather. So come to my what A4 strike an arc. Where the arc meets, I call it my what R4. Connecting my R4 to my A4 to locate my what my point B4 this way and measure what 60 as we did earlier for the others this is my what point what this is my P4 similarly my count of A5 strike an arc I call this my what R5 so join A5 and R5 together as you can see it's already joined I'll measure what my 60 again this is my point 60 this is P5 Similarly, I'll come to my A1, strike, sorry, come to my A1 here, strike an arc. My arc is touching this point here. I call it my R6. So connect your R6 to your A6. This way, I'll measure what? 60. 60 to this point here, my what? P6. So I will do that again for my A7. Come to my A7, strike an arc somewhere. You can see it's touching this point. I call it my what R7. So connect your R7 to your A7 this way and measure what measure that same 60. So it's touching this point here. This is my P7, and this makes sense. The next thing to do is what let me show you what we are doing. 
I will um, take my readings very carefully to avoid mistake. That is, this is my P1. I'll take this point very well. This is my P, my P7. So, for me to see all those points, I want to put them together with my French curve. So, now you take your French curve this way. So, this is my P. So, you see, yes, P1. So, this is it this way. I can easily connect this four together. Put it this way, this way, this way. So, you can see what I'm doing. We are trying to what develop the locus of P. So if I take this one like this, this way. So similarly, I can just connect this point here, this point here, this way. You can see. So I finally close this point up. Let me see. Close this point up. Close it up. So, and this makes a sense. So, this is my what? My low cost. Sorry, low cost. Low cost of point P. And this is my what? My connecting rod. This is my crank. This is my crank. Crank. So, I have this man I do. I have moved in a clockwise direction. What I said earlier, I have moved in a what? In a clockwise uh, manner. Because it's my A, A1, A2, A3. If, if it at a clockwise, there will be A, A1, A2, A3, moving backward. Forward is clockwise. So, if you found this video helpful, Kindly click on the subscription button and like. Thank you. Welcome to WiseLink Academy. Please, if you know you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly click on the subscription button and like. Thank you.